Hello! Today we are, be, we are going to be talking about the red-tailed monkey, Cercopithecus ascianius. It is also known as the black-cheeked white-nosed monkey, the red-tailed guinean, red-tailed monkey, or schmidt guinean. The taxonomic position of the red-tailed monkey is within the order Primates, in the suborder Haplorini, the parv order Caterini, the family Cercopithecidae, the genus Cercopithecus, and then the species C. ascanius. There is also five subspecies within this species, which are Ascanius ascanius, Ascanius achinasus, Ascanius catagangi, Ascanius wittesidae, and Ascanius schmitti. The geographic distribution is primarily within sub-Saharan Africa, with the habitat types of forest, rainforest, and tropical moist forests. This species is found in Angola, Cameroon, Central Africa Republic, Dem Democratic Republic of the Congo, Kenya, Rwanda, South Sudan, Tanzania, Uganda, and Zambia, as shown in the map next to it. The physical description of the red-tailed monkey includes the white nose and cheeks that is surrounded by a black or dark gray body fur. There's also the red coloring on the underside of the tail, and the bicoloration of the tail shows an increase in the reddish color from the base to the tip, where the red color is the most prominent. Sexual dimorphism is present in this species, with males being larger than females. The average body length of a male is 46 centimeters compared to 38 centimeters for a female. Then the average weight is 4.1 kilograms for a male and 2.9 kilograms for a female. In US measurements, this is about ranging from 4.4 to 13 pounds for males and females. The diet of this species is primarily fruit eaters or frugivores but they will supplement their diet with flowers and insects when fruit is more scarce, therefore making them omnivores. They are also diurnal, which means their active hours are typically early in the morning and then later in the evening. The social organization of this group is composed of groups that are typically consisting of 7 to 30 individuals, and within these individuals is typically one a dominant male, females, and then their offspring. So the male offspring will leave the group when they reach maturity and may form an all-male group or live alone until they become the dominant male in their own group. As suggested by the social structure, these species are polygonous, and then they use physical and vocal communication between members of social groups of these monkeys to demonstrate social dominance, submissiveness, and greeting. Red-tailed monkeys have also been observed interacting with blue monkeys, including interspecies grooming, which is a really interesting thing. Red-tailed monkeys are currently listed as least of least concern on the IUCN red list, and there are no special statuses on the US federal list. However, their populations may still be negatively affected through harmful activities such as deforestation, predation, and hunting from native people. Some fun facts about the red-tailed monkey are that these monkeys have large cheek pouches that they can store almost as much food as their stomachs. And then another fun fact is they are known as seed dispersers, and they help trees like Stygnosmetis from where they carry the fruit around, and then they'll spit out the seeds, and then those seeds are then landing on the forest floor where they are able to germinate and eventually become large trees. And then here are my sources. And thank you so much for listening. And I hope you learned something new about the red-tailed monkeys. Thank you.